When measuring something, for example voltage, we usually operate direct units or volts, though sometimes it is preferable to use a relative scale. In this case, the most commonly used unit for measurement is a decibel. It is a powerful tool that may seem confusing. However, those who know the origin of the term and one simple rule have no difficulties in understanding the value expressed in decibels. Alexander Graham Bell became famous for the invention of the telephone. His research on defining the threshold of hearing is not so widely known. In 1890, Bell founded the Association for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, which still exists. He was the first scientist to measure the sense of hearing. Bell discovered that auditory sensitivity does not depend on the actual power of the sound wave that reaches our ears, it depends on the logarithm of the wave. Bell also discovered that the child's threshold of hearing is about 10 in minus 12 power watt per square meter, and the level at which the sound causes pain is about 10 watt per square meter. Thus, the volume range normally perceived by a human is 13 orders. Based on the obtained values, Bell created a scale for measuring sound power ranging from 0 to 13. In this system, the unit of volume is called a bell. The last L in Bell's name was dropped. The sound level of quiet whisper is about 3 bells, and that of normal speech is about 6 bells. The sense of volume is based on the logarithmic cell of the power level. According to Bell's scale, the relationship between power and volume looks as follows. Volume in bells equals logarithm P1 divided P0, where P0 is the threshold of hearing of a sound. Consequently, the sound level of 4 bells corresponds to the sound power of 10 in 4th power multiple P0. A bell has actually become a standard unit for measuring the logarithm of the ratio of two energy levels. A ratio expressed in bells is logarithm P1 divided P0, which means that an increase of 3 bells corresponds to an actual increase of 1000. If the new value decreases, then the logarithm of the ratio becomes negative. To make the inverse transformation, we raise 10 to the power that equals the value in bells. The most important feature of a bell is that it refers only to the ratio of two powers or two energies. If we need to describe the ratio of two amplitude signals, voltages for example, we can only refer, refer to the power ratio associated with these voltages. It has become quite common to express the ratio in tenths of a bell or in decibels. The ratio of two powers in decibels equals 10 logarithm P1 divided P0 and the ratio of two voltages is 10 multiple 2 logarithm V1 divide V0. To find the voltage ratio, I use the formula V1 divide V0 equals 10 decibels divide 20. Sometimes it is difficult to define what to call an amplitude value or what to call an energy one. Voltage, current, impedance, electric or magnetic fields and the scope of any wave processes our amplitude values. To find the value in decibels, we first calculate the ratio of the squares of these values and then find its logarithm. Energy, power and intensity are energy values and their logarithm is calculated directly.